Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to uh, move an object. So here I have a window, and inside this window, I have this, uh, I have this blue object. And the purpose of this tutorial is we're going to learn how to create this uh, drag and moving object effect. So here you, you can see that. While I hover my mouse to this blue ball object, the mouse arrow icon changes to this uh, hand grabbing icon. I can move this object around. Now let me close this window. Here in my Python script, I'm going to import the libraries. From the pyqt widgets module, I'll import the Q application class and Q graphical view class. So I'll be using uh, quite actually quite many uh, graphical related classes. So this one will be Q graphicals view and Q graphicals uh, same class. And to create a circle object, so I'll use the Q graphicals ellipse item uh, op class. Now from the Qt core module, I'll import Qt class and Q point F class. And here, let me construct my Q application instance. So first we need to create like an area to uh, place the, the object. So I'm going to create a class and I'm going to name this class graphical view. And I'm going to pass the Q graphicals view class as the parent class. <clears throat> so here we have the, the view. So here let me create the, the uh, graphical view instance. I'll name the instance uh, view. And here I'll do uh, view.show. And here, oh, uh, no. So here I have a typo, Qt widgets. And here I have another typo. So Q graphics, uh, same class. Right, I think that's pretty much it. So here when I launch the, the window, so here's our uh, graphical view area. And we need to create a graphical scene object. So I'll name this uh, object self.scene. It's equals to Q graphical scene class. Now we're going to set the scene with the self sync object. Using the set synth red uh, method, we can set the the area uh, property. The first two parameters are the x and y corners. So I'm going to set those to 0 and 0. And for the uh, area size, actually here, this should be self. For the area size, I'll set that to uh, 1200 and 1000. So if you so if I launch my window and this is my uh, scene size, so basically it takes out the entire window. Now we have the area created. Now we need to create our uh, circle object. So here I'll create another class. I'll call this uh, class uh, moving object. And I'll pass the Q graphics ellipse item uh, class as the parent class. So from the moving object class itself, I'm going to have three parameters, x corner value, y corner value, and the radius. And for the parent class, uh, which is Q graphics ellipse item class, so when I initialize, I want to pass uh, four parameters values. So the first two, I, I'm going to just set the, the values to zero, which is the x and y corners, and radius, radius value. So this is going to uh, set the, the area size. Now we have the x and y corners uh, values, so we can set the position. So I'll use the set pos uh, method, and I'll provide the x and y values. And to print the object color, we'll use the set brush method, and we'll provide a color. So I'm going to use blue as uh, to paint the, the object. And also, we need to set the 
oops hover events to two so we we'll use the set a set hover events to two now let's go back to the graphics uh, graphic view class real quick so let's go ahead and create our moving object uh, first so I'll name this object uh, self dot move object and I'll set and it's equals to moving object class and I want to provide the x and y values so I'll set that to 15 and 50 and for the radius size uh, let's set that to 40 now we have the moving object created so we can add that to our scene so I'll provide the uh, move object object now let me launch the application to see what the uh, so what we have so far so here all the white area is our uh it's our scene so here so based on uh this name right here and the blue object belongs to this uh, moving object instance so if you want to create multiple uh objects all you need to do is just create another uh moving object instance so i'm naming this to object 2 it's, uh, it's equals to moving object and here i'm going to set the x and y corner value to minus 100 minus 100 and for the radius size i'll set i'll set that to 100 and here we just need to add the uh, um, move object to object to our uh, self that same instance now if i launch the the window and here i don't see the i don't see the object let me check oh here we go the small object is self that move object and the bigger object is the self that move object to object now let me uh common this one out since i only want to work with one object uh, in this exercise now we have the object inserted to our uh, graphic view uh area now we just need to create different events to allow the application to perform the mouse uh, move move action. So the first uh, events I'm going to create is the the hover enter events, and this event is going to fire every time when we hover our mouse to touch the object. So when the events is detect uh, a mouse signal receive, they want to take the application instance and want to use the set override cursor method. And want to change the mouse arrow icon to open hand cursor. And of course, uh, when we move away from the object we want to change the cursor icon back to just the regular arrow icon so here i want to use the hover leaf events and i'll take the same application instance and except that i'll use the uh, restore override cursor method and that's it so to give you an example, uh, let me come and come out this uh, method and I'll launch the application. So here, look at my mouse, it's still arrow icon. If I hover my mouse to this object, you can see that my arrow icon becomes the open hand cursor. Now, if I move away from this blue object, my mouse arrow is still open hand cursor uh, icon. So let me close this. So also we need to make sure that we also implement the hover leaf events and to reset the mouse icon. Now that's the first thing we need to do. The second task we need to do is we need to handle how the mouse plus events going to be handled. There are three mouse events we need to uh, configure. So this one is the mouse hover uh, events, mouse hover. And this one will be the mouse or click events. The first mouse event is the mouse press events. 
and the second events that are followed by is the mouse release events and in between is the mouse move events so anytime when you want to do anything with um, mouse uh, click or mouse uh, drag and drop these three events always go together because I don't need to do anything with the mouse press event so I can, I can just uh, use pass as a placeholder uh, to address these events and for the mouse release events I want to print the x and y coordinate values every time I release the mouse so I'll print the x uh, value and the y value So I can uh, get the x and y value using the self dot uh, position dot x, and this will give us the the x corner value. And self dot pos dot y, this will give us the y corner value. Here I'm going to insert pass uh, just for now. Now if I launch my application, so here if I click my mouse and let go, I'm here. Oh, I'm getting a oh. So this should be, so this should be string. Okay, let me try again. If I drag this object, and right now I can I cannot move this object yet. But if I look on my mouse, and that's going to print the x and y corner value. And the reason why we cannot move this object yet is because we haven't handled the mouse moving event. So now let's finish uh, the mouse movement events uh, method and we can be done with the entire uh, Python script. So we need to figure out the, the original uh, scene position. So here I'll create a variable and I'll name this variable original cursor position. This equals to events dot last uh, scene position. And this one will be the, the updated cursor position. This equals to events the same position. Now we need to grab the original position of the same position. And here's where things get a little bit more complicated because you need to uh, figure out the the logic to move the object to. Here I'll name this uh, object updated cursor x. So this is going to be the x corner where we want to move our object to. And the formula is updated cursor position dot x minus original cursor position dot x minus it should not minus a plus original position of the x corner value. And I'm going to make a copy of this line right here, and except that I'm going to change all the x to y. Now I have the updated cursor uh, x and y value. Here I can use the set position method, and I'll use the Q point F class and I'll provide the X and Y corner values. And that's it. So this is the entire script. Now, let me just double check. Right. Now if I run the script, and here I'm going to try to move this object. So here you can see that now I'm able to move this blue object. And if I look on my mouse, and that's going to print the x and y uh, corner value of this uh, blue object right here. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.